How to choose LED fog light bulbs. We'll go over each feature that you should consider, including brightness, color temperature, beam pattern, fitment, and some extra features of the most popular LED bulbs. How do you choose an LED fog light bulb out of the thousands of options on the market? Just like shopping for a car, it depends on what you're looking for. If you need a vehicle with high MPGs, then you'd go with a hybrid or electric car. If you're the type of person that seeks a thrill, then maybe a sports car. So if you're driving mostly at night and on dark roads, two important factors for your fog lights are brightness and beam pattern. Or if you just bought a brand new car with stock LED headlights but yellowish halogen fog lights, you'll want to replace the fog lights to match the headlights. Or if you're looking for some style to catch people's eye, then color temperature is your important feature. And for those that live in a place with a lot of foggy days or inclement weather conditions, color temperature, brightness, and beam pattern are all important. If you don't have a lot of experience, then finding a bulb that is a plug-and-play replacement is better and you should do some research on fitment for your vehicle. No matter what your preference is, it's important to learn the different features of the most popular LED fog lights on the market before making any purchases. The first feature we'll discuss is brightness. How bright are LED fog lights? We measure their brightness with lumens. How many lumens are LED fog lights? LED fog lights range from 400 to 6,000 lumens per bulb compared to halogen fog lights that range from 900 to 1500 lumens per bulb. Why are some LED fog lights only half as bright as the stock halogen fog light bulbs? It's the same as a 10 watt household LED replacement light bulb that are still 500 lumens dimmer than the 100 watt incandescent bulbs. Bulbs that draw more power are brighter. How do I know how bright the fog lights are? To get the exact number, it requires a special piece of equipment called an integrating sphere However, these cost thousands. Does this mean that consumers cannot figure out that number? Actually, even though LED fog lights have newer technology than halogen fog lights, the formula to calculate total lumens is the same for each. Total lumens equals efficacy times power. The efficacy for a halogen bulb is about 30 lumens per watt. A typical H8 size 35 watt halogen has an estimated total light output of 1,050 lumens. A cost-friendly LED bulb efficacy is up to 150 lumens per watt. A 5-watt LED fog light has a maximum total light output of 750 lumens, while a 40-watt LED fog light will be up to 6,000 lumens. What is the price difference between these 750 lumens and 6,000 lumens LED fog lights? You can get a pair of 750 lumen fog light bulbs for between $20 and $30 from a reputable company. A pair of 6,000 lumen fog light bulbs cost around $80. Why do the 6,000 lumen fog lights cost so much more? To keep the tiny 35 watt LED bulb from burning out, they require more advanced materials and technology. A more heat resistant LED chip, heat transferring copper board, reliable electronic components, and an even more efficient cooling system. Can LED fog lights be used as headlights the way halogen bulbs can? Not all of them. The stock halogen H11 low beam headlight bulb and H11 fog light bulb are the exact same bulb in this 2016 Lexus CT. However, LED fog light output varies from 400 lumens to 6,000 lumens. Only the fog lights with high lumens are capable of being used as headlights. How many lumens should I get for my fog light? It depends on your driving conditions. There are two cases where you would prefer a brighter fog light bulb. Case 1. If you're driving a lot at night, like a commercial truck driver or someone working night shifts. Case 2. If you live in an area where rain and fog are common, should the people in these cases get the same kind of fog lights? Not necessarily. And that's because of our second feature. Color temperature. What is the most commonly used color temperature for fog lights? The most common is 6000K white followed by 3000K yellow then finally, 8000K light blue. Which color temperature is best? Well, if you want to increase night driving visibility, 6000K white. If you travel a lot in foggy weather conditions, 3000K yellow. Or if you're getting fog lights for off-roading or for show, then any color, including the 8000K light blue. 6000K white has the highest light intensity and appears the brightest before it starts turning blue. 
3000K yellow has a longer wavelength and travels further in inclement weather conditions. 8000K blue is mostly for style. However, check your state traffic laws to see if any blue light is permitted on your vehicle. A lot of states, like California, do not allow blue lights. Another spec to research before purchasing is the bulb's beam pattern. What is a good beam pattern for fog lights? Fog lights are designed to shine downwards, illuminating the road beneath the fog. There should also be a very sharp and clear cutoff line, so the light does not shine into the fog and bounce off in all directions, causing blinding for you and other drivers. Why is it important to check the beam pattern when shopping for LED fog lights and not for stock halogen bulbs? Your vehicle's fog light housing is designed for halogen bulbs and not the LEDs. The LED chips on your replacement bulbs should be as close to the original halogen bulbs filament as possible in both shape and location. Two-sided LED bulbs are also a better match to the stock halogen bulbs. What is the ideal orientation for two-sided LED fog light bulbs? According to the radiation characteristics of the fog light housing, the best orientation is vertical, with the LED chips facing left and right in the housing. What if my LED fog light has a poor beam pattern? It's not safe for you or others. For you, a lot of light is not shining in the right direction and is wasted. You will not benefit from the brighter bulbs when driving at night or in foggy weather. It's dangerous for others if the beam pattern is shining directly at oncoming traffic or being reflected into other drivers' eyes. How do you properly aim a fog light? According to SAE standards, the fog lamp should be aimed with the top of the beam 4 inches below the center of the lamp at a distance of 25 feet. The next spec to research is fitment. Are LED fog light bulbs plug and play? Most of them are. What are some reasons that they wouldn't fit? Case number one, if the bulb size is wrong. Case number two, if there's not enough clearance in the LED fog light bulb. Case number three, error codes. How do I make sure I'm getting the correct fog light bulb? Use the bulb size tool on our website. You can also check the part number on the bulb itself if it's easily accessible. How much more space does an LED fog light bulb take? There are some LED fog light replacement bulbs that have the same dimensions as a stock halogen bulb. However, there are some bulbs that are larger than the stock bulb. Generally, the brighter an LED bulb is, the bigger it is. Sometimes the front of the bulb is too long. This usually happens on the H1 and H3 bulbs because they're the shortest fog lights and it's not practical for LEDs to put everything into such a short length. Sometimes the rear end of the bulb is too long. Remember the formula to calculate total lumens. The brighter bulbs consume more power and some of this power turns into heat. In order to dissipate the heat away from the bulb more efficiently, a bigger cooling system is required. This takes up extra space compared to the halogen bulbs. Fortunately, most vehicles have plenty of space behind the fog light housing. Will I get an error code by installing an LED fog light replacement? For most Japanese and American cars, you won't. However, with most European cars, you will. How do I fix an error code from an LED fog light? A 6 ohm load resistor parallel to the fog light circuit will fix most error codes. How do I install a load resistor? These are plug and play resistors available for most bulb sizes. Just remember, resistors get as hot as the engine, so be sure to mount them securely onto metal. The last spec to research when purchasing LED fog lights are the special features of different bulbs. Let's look at the five most popular LED fog light features and their pros and cons. LED switchback fog lights. Have you heard the phrase, you can't have it both ways? With LED switchback technology, you can when it comes to the bulb's color temperature. These bulbs can switch between both white and yellow. How's this possible? Halogen bulbs have a natural yellow flame color. To get a red halogen bulb, you would have to color the glass red. This is not the case for LED bulbs. LED chips are capable of illuminating different colors. A red light from an LED bulb is achieved by simply applying a red LED chip on the bulb. Same goes for both a yellow or white colored LED bulb. You can also have both colors on one bulb. How do you change colors? Some LED lights can change colors through apps on your phone. However, this technology is not safe for driving. Our bulbs use the fog light switch to change colors. 
The bulb starts in the default white color each time you turn on the fog lights. You then switch the fog lights off and back on to switch the color to yellow. Switch them off and back again to change it back to white. Why do I need two colors for my fog lights? If you like the white colored fog lights but want to have the yellow fog lights available in case of inclement weather conditions, then this feature is best. Number 2. LED Fog Lights with Fans According to our formula, bulbs that are brighter also run hotter. That's the trade-off. Many of these bulbs need fans in order to keep cool. How long do the fans last? The fan should be designed and manufactured to last longer than the bulb itself. How loud is the fan noise? Most of them are between 30 and 40 decibels. Can I use this kind of LED fog light for my headlights or the other way around? These bulbs are bright enough to run both as long as the bulb is designed properly to be able to produce a clear cutoff line. Pros and Cons The pros of these bulbs are the high light output intensity and sharp cutoff lines that improve driving safety. The cons are the high cost of the bulbs and the extra space the fan takes up could cause fitment issues in some vehicles. Number 3. LED fog light without a fan but with a front projector lens. These are the most commonly available LED fog lights on the market. This was actually the way the first LED fog light was constructed. The pros for these bulbs are their affordable prices and their almost perfect fitment since most have the same dimensions as stock halogen bulbs. The con is that they're not as bright as the stock bulb and the light does not travel far due to the low intensity. These bulbs are good for show or matching your white LED headlights, but they're not recommended for use in poor weather conditions. Number 4. LED Fog Light Without Fans But With A Heat Sink These models are in between the last two. The pros are the affordable price and the better fitment for easy installation and bright clear beam pattern. The only cons are that they're not as bright as the bulbs with fans or as affordable as the bulbs with projector lenses. Our last feature is having an adjustable beam pattern. These bulbs are adjustable so that you can get the LED fog light cutoff line as close to the stock bulbs as possible. How do you adjust LED fog light beams? There are three commonly used ways to adjust the beam on LED fog lights. Loosening Screw You can loosen the screw that holds the bulb's chuck in place which allows you to adjust the LED chips so that they're facing left and right. This method is reliable but not as convenient as the other models. Most of the time they require you to remove the bulb from the housing in order to adjust it. Push and Spin This method works the way you would open a medicine bottle cap. These are easy to adjust and the adjustment can be made with the bulb already installed. There's one angle that you cannot use, which is reserved to assemble and disassemble the chuck. The last method is the double rubber ring resistance. With these models, there are two rubber rings between the chuck and the bulb's body to increase resistance and keep the bulb from loosening on its own. There's usually a stop block to help lock the bulb into the housing. This feature is easy to adjust but not as reliable as the loosening screw. With so many options to choose from, it's important to know what to look for when shopping for LED fog light bulbs. Keeping these five specs in mind will help you decide which is the best LED fog light bulb for your vehicle. Brightness, color temperature, beam pattern, fitment, and any special features that bulb may have. If you have any questions or would like us to cover any other topics, let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Safer, smarter, brighter, better. We are ALA Lighting.